Good morning. It's Saturday the 16th of February. It's a nice sunny day. Um, I quite like this chair to sit in every morning now with the sunlight coming in um, instead of where I, I previously was uh, just over there. So I had a good morning, a good morning's writing. Um, I think it's all going to go okay. I think it's all going to work out. Um, I'm, I'm about five and a bit thousand words through this monologue and I'm coming up to the halfway point. I'm very close to the halfway point. The other monologues have all been about, well the first two were about 10,000 words each. This I think is going to get to about 12,000 words which is neither here nor there. Um, I'm still in part repurposing parts of the original beach surgery pros, uh, which is working well. It's working well when I then can strategically pick parts of the narrative that I need to zoom through quickly. Um, I was really happy with what I wrote in that regard this morning to pass through quickly towards another important plot point rather than lingering on uh, details for too too long and then there are parts that I do need to linger on um, to not pass over important parts of what needs to be said so I think that's probably the middle ground that I need to stick to is that when repurposing parts of the original beach surgery narrative part of it needs to remain the same to explain particularly important narrative points and part of it can be glossed over and i'm being a bit cheeky in the rewriting of it by being very explicit about parts of the story that i think need to be remembered or thought about for later like i'll say R remember this for later <laughs> or um yeah, or I'll say it twice and I'll say this This is important to keep in mind. Um, so I like that metaness to it, which is uh, giving it the, the tone that it needs. I wrote about, say, 800 words or something on some local history that I've tied into the uh, beach surgery narrative that I think has worked really well. Um, it, uh, it, it ties it together, it ties together sections of the beach surgery narrative and gives it a variance and keeps it present um, in terms of it being a, a spoken explication of things rather than just a retelling of a story. It's, it's a telling of a story that also has current um, thoughts and explanations tied in, which is what I'm going for. Um, so it was good. It made me feel better this morning to see how it's travelling, to read back over some parts, to see this level of variance that's been built in, to look at the sections to, to come, and to realise that it's not going to be a big blowout. Like I'm already seeing a section that I had pegged for around 400 words that I know I can um, almost just skip entirely. And move on to the following section and if that section's a bit longer then so be it um, but I think it's going to keep uh, somewhat within that like I said 10,000 word just over limit and um, and will will work well and then it'll be back into monologue 4 which ties back into monologue 1 um, so I'm really looking forward to that and and I know once I finish this monologue 3 I'll have a really good sense of how it feels, of how really part one of the novel, um, which will be comprised of nine components, but after having got through these first three, which are then repeated um, two more times each, I'll definitely get a good feel for the quality of what I'm putting together. And, and, and even now, I'm much happier with what I've written um, this morning and how it's bringing the monologue together than I have been in previous mornings. So, good news. Uh, 
looking forward to pressing on more tomorrow. Um, I hope you have a nice rest of the day and I'll be back here tomorrow morning. I'll see you then.